till så många av er här, trots snö och väder och inställda tåg. Alltså, det är kanske just därför ni är här. Jag heter Anna och arbetar med Ben och Jerrys glass här i Sverige. Och jag heter John, jobbar också med Ben Jerrys i Sverige. Och jag växlar över till engelska nu för det blir lite lättare för våra gäster att förstå. So we have some very special guests here today, I must say. Uh, very proud to present the, the founders of, of Ben and Jerry, Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield. Welcome. See you all. Thank you for coming. I'm Jerry. I'm Ben. That must be him, Ben. Uh, so uh, we've come here today uh, to talk about Ben and Jerry's commitment to fair trade globally uh, and how uh, it's going to be 100% fair trade for all Ben and Jerry's products in all our flavors all over the world. So Ben and I are on a uh, a mini tour. <laughs> we're, uh, we were in London making the announcement and we were in Amsterdam yesterday and we're here today. Uh, we've spent most of the day in that little room right over there uh, talking, talking with folks one on one and then twice during the day they let us go for a little five minute walk outside. So that's what, yeah, that's what we've seen in Stockholm so far. <laughs> Uh, but we've actually been having a really nice day because most of our interviews have been more like conversations with people, so I feel like we're getting to know a little bit uh, of what people are like here. So uh, I think I'll talk a little about how Ben and I came to be where we are, and then we'll, we'll have some time for questions, yeah. and then everybody eats lots of ice cream. Uh, so uh, Ben and I started in the United States in Vermont. Uh, rural uh, state with a small homemade ice cream parlor in 1978. And uh, uh, we, we reached that point because Ben and I are, were old friends. We met when we were 13 years old and we met in school together uh, in gym class because we were the two slowest, fattest kids in the class. Um, and we met running around the track together when Everybody else was way up in front, and Ben and I were in the back. And uh, after going through school, and uh, I was trying to get into medical school and never got in, and Ben was trying to become a potter, and nobody would be buy his pottery. And so we just decided to open up an ice cream parlor for fun. And we didn't have any business training. We learned how to make ice cream from a correspondence course and how to make ice cream. Uh, we opened up in an old abandoned gas station uh, and just started selling ice cream. And everything was fine. We were having a lot of fun and uh, making interesting, unusual flavors. Uh, it tried to be a very community-based business. We would give out lots of free ice cream. We had free ice cream for Mother's on Mother's Day. We showed free outdoor walk-in movies uh, outside at the gas station uh, and after a few years the business uh, started to prosper it became almost a real business and uh, Ben and I were kind of kind of freaked out by that because we didn't really think of ourselves as business people and we were concerned uh, about being business Five years or so. 
and now I'm going to let Ben talk. <laughs> well, we're here today because uh, we are incredibly uh, proud that Ben and Jerry's has now made this commitment to be 100% fair traded. And uh, it's uh, a sign and validation of the idea that it's possible for businesses to buy their products in ways that do not exploit people and makes money at the same time. And uh, we're here today to urge uh, people to krev revice macht. Uh, to, uh, you know, I think if, if people demand uh, from companies and, and brands and products that they buy uh, fair traded ingredients, then that will uh, get companies to respond to consumer demand. And you, you need to make, uh, make it known and uh, let them know that that's how you want your products. And, you know, it ends up costing a few cents more uh, per pint or per bar or for whatever, whatever it is that you're buying. It doesn't make that much difference. Uh, to the to the company that's buying the ingredients, but it makes a world of difference uh, to the for Ben and Jerry's to the 24,000 farmers that are now getting paid a livable wage that gets them out of poverty. And um, it's the first uh, ice cream brand to make this total commitment. Uh, the first global uh, ice cream brand that will now be 100% fair traded. As more fair trading uh, ingredients become available, we'll continue to buy more of them that way. And uh, it's a cause for uh, rejoicing and uh, a sign that we can help to relieve poverty around the world just by doing business in a caring way. <laughs> 